A memorial is being organized by the fiance of the man who drowned at Mere Beach last week. Jose Padilla's body was recovered on Friday, three days after a rogue wave pulled him out to sea. Yeah, it happened while he was fishing near the shoreline. Ground Force Rob Nesbitt spoke to the agencies that conducted the uh, rescue and recovery efforts, and he joins us now live with their safety recommendations you know, when it comes to these sneaker waves. Rob? Vicki, both the Coast Guard and the Marin County Fire Department say that sneaker waves are difficult for even the most advanced swimmers to navigate. It's the type of wave that now has the Padilla family making funeral plans. For days, multiple rescue agencies in Marin County searched the waters of Mere Beach for Jose Medardo Padilla. His fiance Shauna Hinson posted online that the National Park Service recovered his body, saying, quote, he was found just before sundown on February 11th on the shore near the accident site. Now we will be able to bring him home to his family in Honduras. Before that, we want to host a memorial to give everyone an opportunity to say goodbye. Raising money online for the memorial with a $10,000 goal. According to Brett McTeague with the Marin County Fire Department, it was a sneaker wave that caused Padilla's drowning. Long intervals, um, it catches folks off guard because it'll be seemingly calm out there and then all of a sudden you get a set come in um, and that's what catches people off guard. According to the U.S. Coast Guard, there were 17 sneaker wave deaths along the California coast last year. The majority of those occurred north of the Big Sur area. McTeague recommends checking the marine forecast before going anywhere near the ocean. Even on calm days, there are precautions you should take, as you can never predict exactly what the waves and swells are capable of. But if you're going to be near the water, um, if you're going to be recreating, have a life jacket, file a float plan if you're going to be going out on a vessel. Um, and if it's uh, big conditions, really know your limitations. The online fundraiser for the memorial service has raised around $6,700 of its $10,000 goal. Live in San Francisco, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Cron 4 News.